Hey there, scholars. It's Miss Van Buren. I am back again to talk to you about irregular rectangular prisms. Yesterday, we talked about the three easy steps to figure out the volume of an irregular rectangular prism. I'm going to review those quickly before we do two more practice problems. Step one is to cut the shape into two prisms. In yesterday's module, if you read it carefully, you know that some irregular rectangular prisms can be cut into three or four prisms, but for now we're just going to focus on irregular prisms that can be cut into two rectangular prisms. Step two is to find the volume. of each prism. And remember volume is length times width times height. And then step three is to add the volume of both prisms. And your total is your answer. So I have this shape right here that we're going to go over together. I already did step one and I cut this shape right here so that I have this longer rectangular prism and then this vertical or horizontal rectangular prism. So this vertical one is up and down and then the horizontal one is looking like it's laying down. So let's call this one A and then this one will be B. So for step two, I'm going to find the volume of each. So let's take a look at A. I know that this is five. I'm not quite sure what this length is. And I know that this is 15. So I'm going to analyze my shape to see if there's another number that lets me know how long this side is. Now, if you look down here, if this side of our rectangle is four inches, that lets me know the opposite side is going to be the same, which is four inches. So now I can find the volume of rectangular prism A. I'm gonna do five times four times 15. Five times four is 20 and 20 times 15. I know 15 times two is 30, then I'm gonna add my zero. So 20 times 15 is 300. So the volume of rectangular prism A is 300 cubic inches. We're still on step two because now I have to find the volume of shape B. So I see that this is five. If this is four, I know that this is four. And then this length is 13. So I have all three of my values that I need to find the volume. Now I can just multiply. Five times four is 20. 20 times 13. I'm gonna use the same strategy I used over here. 13 times two is 26. I'm going to add my zero. So 13 times 20 is 260. Since it's volume, we're working with cubic inches. So now I'm going to move on to step three. And step three tells me to add the volume of both prisms. So 300 plus 260 equals 560 cubic inches. That is the volume of this irregular rectangular prism. Let's try one more today. Here is my shape. And I'm going to cut this one right here. Okay. So I have 
this prism. That might help let you see it a little bit easier, help you see it a little bit easier. And then I have this prism. We shall call the blue one A and the green one B. So let's start with the volume of A. I see five inches times 10 and 12. Let's do five times 10 is 50, 50 times 12. Well, five times 12 is 60. I see my zero, I add my zero. We're working with inches, so it's cubic inches. And then here in green, I see 18, six, and I'm not quite sure what this one is yet. So here's B for, 18 times 6 times, I look up here, this one doesn't have a number either, but this is the same as this because in this rectangle right here, I use my pink, if this is a rectangle and this side is 12, that means my opposite side is also 12. So I know that if this side is 12, my opposite side is 12 inches as well. So I'm gonna have 18 times six times 12. So six times 12, I'm gonna start over here because of my six facts. I know six, or my 12 facts. I know six times 12 is 72. And now I'm going to solve 18 times 72. Eight times two is 16. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12. When I add that up, I get 1,296 cubic inches. So now I'm ready for step three, where I add the volume of both shapes for my total answer, 1,896 inches cubed or cubic inches. So that is the volume of this irregular rectangular prism. I hope this is starting to become a little bit easier for you. You guys are doing a great job submitting your quizzes on time, and I'm super proud of all of the messages I'm getting. I'm getting messages in Canvas. I'm getting messages um, in Class Dojo, on my phone, um, and through my email, and I'm just so proud of all of the work you guys are putting into this. Remember, just contact me if you need any help, and I am super proud of you. Bye.